Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video from The Cider Drinker. Well, last time we had the good, now it's time to check out the bad. Yeah, it's time for my top 10 personal least favourite ciders that I've reviewed so far. Now, as with the uh, top 10 favourite ciders, there's a couple of criteria I'll be following. Once again, there's going to be uh, no ciders from cider festivals because it's, you know, going to be all about shop-bought ciders and ones that you can get um, quite easily. And two, again, there's going to be no, um, you know, it's going to be one cider per franchise, so you're not going to see, like, the same you know, the same crappy franchise all throughout the top 10 because, again, that'll be very, very boring to watch. So, without any further ado, let's get this train wreck a rolling. So, starting off this list of rubbishness is, again, one that might actually kind of surprise you because not a lot of you will actually know that this cider even exists, because, well, it's one of my least viewed reviews, so it shows you how uh, popular it is, but it's a Lithuanian cider, and it's Quince Apple. Um, mainly, the, the, the main reason that it's on this list is because it was just so wholeheartedly disappointing. I had, well, I wouldn't say I had high hopes for it, but I didn't expect it to be as bad as it was. Let's have a look. Wow, um... <laughs> Um, that smells of apple juice. Like, real, real, just apple juice. That's all I'm getting. Yeah, it's apple juice. That's all I'm getting. Um, very sickly sweet. Ugh. Really, um, a really gummy sort of texture to it as well. It's just like, uh, this is definitely an industrially made cider we've got here. It's, um, it's just like having, having, um, like an apple tizer or something of the sort. Uh, the thing that it reminds me of is WKD Core, that, um, you know, the one that I did, uh, ages back. It tastes exactly like that. Yeah, it's not changed. So, uh, Quince Apple Cider gets the same score as WKD Core, a 3 out of 10. Um, one good thing is it doesn't taste terrible, but that's not really saying much, is it? But there we go. Coming in at number 9 is one of the very first ciders I actually reviewed. In fact, um, it was my 10th review. My god, that seems a long while ago. But it was WKD's take on the cider with their WKD core. Let's just say they should stick to making Alco Pops. Let's have a look. Oh my, that smells very, very sweet. Very sweet. I won't be surprised if they added uh, sweeteners, even though they don't say they did. It's all pretty meh, to be honest. And therefore, I am going to go and give WKD Core Cider a 3 out of 10. That's my lowest rating so far, but to be honest, it's it's got nothing going for it, really. Number 8 might actually not be a shock to some of you, because, well, you know, it seems kind of obvious for it to be on here. But it's um, a mass-marketed industrial cider, and it's one of these beer um, producers that decides to dip their fingers into the uh, cider maker's market. This time, it's Carling British Cider. Let's just say that it was, well, just incredibly generic and average, and, well, nothing special at all. Let's take a look. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting um, a slight hint of sweetness. And there's that strange smell that is um, kind of like off apples again. Which was uh, very prevalent in the Crofter's Apple that I did quite a while ago. Wow. The first thing that you're hit with is just the absolute texture of it. It's thick almost to the point of gelatinous. I mean, I've had some quite thick syrupy ciders in my, you know, 
in my time doing this show. But this is up there with some of the worst. That is... That is so hard to drink. It's just... Yeah, it's syrupy, thick. There's really nothing else to, to it, to be honest. You just... You've got sweetness, sugar, hardly any discernible apple taste at all. Um, strangely enough, it's left my mouth feeling quite dry. I was expecting it to be like, in, you know, sugar overload on the aftertaste, but actually it's left it relatively dry. Um, so, for a final verdict, Culling British Cider gets a 3 out of 10. Um, I can kind of see, you know, Norm well, I say normal people, but I can see why some people would want to give this a go because hey, it's Carling, you know, I've, I've had their I've had their lager, it's really nice, you know, so I'll try their cider out, and then they're going to be wholeheartedly disappointed and just go back to the lager. Well, this cider had to appear on this list at some point. It was kind of um, blasphemy if it didn't. But the number seven spot goes to probably the most well-known cider in the entire world, Strongbow. Yes, due to the uh, whole mass marketing campaigns, the adverts and everything, people think it's the best cider out there. But trust me guys, it really, really isn't. But seeing as it's only this um, low on the list, there's a lot worse ciders out there, that's for sure. Let's see what I made of it. Right, how does it smell? Like gnat's piss. <laughs> um, no, it's... It just... I hate to say it has a strong bow smell. It's kind of... It just has a pissy sort of smell. Like, um, whenever you walk through, like, uh, an underpass or a subway or something, you get that real smell of stale piss. That's what you get from this. Ugh. Yeah, now I know why I didn't, um, I don't drink Strongbow anymore. It's... It's not that good, guys. I'm I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. It doesn't it doesn't taste good. Um, admittedly, the thing that it does right is it does taste dry. Cause um, like other ciders say they're dry and they cram it with sugars and sweeteners, and you, all you can really taste is the sugar and sweeteners. Admittedly, you can still taste it in this glass, but it's actually not as prevalent as some of uh, the other industrially made ciders out there. Yeah, as I say, you, you can still taste the sugars and sweeteners in it. Um, there's also a very tinny, metallic undertone to everything that just kind of puts you off it. Uh, it still tastes kind of pissy too. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's <laughs> Really, it's about as subpar of a cider as you can get. And I'm not really surprised, to be honest. I mean, this is just so mass-produced that, you know, you don't really expect anything from it and so obviously they don't give you anything at all, like in taste or in texture. Anyway, for a final verdict, Strongbow gets a 3 out of 10 from me. Uh, as I say, it does its job better than some other ciders out there, but there are just so many, many better ones out there. Uh, Number six is actually going to be kind of different this time because, shock horror, I'm actually breaking my one cider per franchise rule because essentially these two ciders were effectively the same drink. There was absolutely no difference to them at all and to be honest I was pretty disappointed with them. I am talking of course about Hall Blauerbock and Hall Manteller. Sorry if I've uh, pronounced that wrong. But, wow, d despite them being in massive one-litre bottles, well, I just didn't expect them to be this bad. So, uh, well, let's just see what I made of the Mantailer. Um, that's actually got really nice dry notes. Um, kind of a slight mustiness to it, but, um... 
that doesn't smell too bad actually. You can actually smell quite uh, you know bittersweet apple notes coming off of it. There's mmm. This is really hard to describe. Um, it doesn't really taste of apples, but um, it's it kind of tastes more like just like. There's a, a real acidity to to it all, which is um, making it like really sharp, really sharp on the taste, but no real discerning actual apple tastes coming off of this. Hmm. Yeah, that is just so weird. It's almost um. Yeah, it's just it just tastes of acidity, sharpness. There's no apple taste at all. Uh, for a verdict, I'm actually going to have to give Herr Manteller a 3 out of 10. Um, I wouldn't even, you know, recommend it for that price because there's really nothing going on in this cider. There's no massive flavours or anything. You're just getting that kind of off-putting sharpness. <laughs> All right, we're halfway through the list and we're getting to the really, really nitty gritty now. Um, number five goes to a cider which I think everyone probably would have had in their youth because it just seemed to be the big thing to have at the time. I am, of course, talking about Woodpecker Cider. The, uh, I think it was something like 3.5 percenter where you had to drink like six or seven just to even feel slight effects from it. Boy, revisiting it now, I can clearly see why, uh, why uh, many people don't like it now, so <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> okay, first impressions aren't good. Oh, that smells really musty. Oh, that's... If, um... If, like, when you get the gummy texture at the back of your throat, like when you've had a real sugary product, if that had a smell to it, this is probably what it would smell like. That, oh, that does not smell like a cider at all. That's, um... It, it, do, it does. It does ha kind of have, like, a gummy sort of smell to it. Really musty and definitely not appealing to the nose at all. So, um... Hmm, well, first impressions aren't good, I can tell you that. Oh, oh God! Oh, that is so sweet. Oh dear me. Um, this is probably the most artificially tasting cider I have had yet. All you can taste is sugar, with a little bit of sugar, topped with sugar, and just a sprinkling of sweeteners as well. There's oh, that's terrible. Oh dear. That is so sweet. God oh, dear me. Right, well, from what flavours I am getting off of it, there's it doesn't even taste of cider. There's no real, like, apple aromas or apple taste coming off of this at all. All I can literally taste is the sugars that they've crammed into this can. I'm actually, for a verdict, I am going to give Woodpecker Cider a 2 out of 10. There's really just no discerning features about this cider. The only redeeming one I can kind of see is that because it is such a low percentage of alcohol, it's very easy to like just pick a four pack up and like have the entire four pack in an evening and don't really feel the effects. And the reason why is because they've just crammed it so much full of sugar. Okay, so the number four spot goes to what I actually think is one of my most controversial reviews I've ever done. I really didn't expect this cider to get so many mixed opinions on it. Some people say it's absolutely amazing and other people um, kind of agree with me in that it's absolutely awful. I am talking about Crumpton Oaks. My goodness me! <laughs> I mean, I... Obviously, I still stick with my uh, my own personal opinion, and, you know, fair play if you guys like it. But for me, it just really, really didn't sit well with me at all, so... Actually, let's see what I made of it. Oh, no. 
That doesn't smell too good at all. Oh, it smells... It smells cheap. It really does. Most... Some, some cheap ciders that I've had... I don't know. You get the faint whiff of... I hate to say it, body odour? I don't know. That's what I'm getting from there. It's not a very pleasant smell at all, so that's not really filling me with confidence. Ugh. Mm. Um, yeah, not feeling that, unfortunately. I mean, on the can it says it's a crisp and refreshing cider, rich in colour with fruity characters, reflecting the inclusion of the finest bittersweet apples harvested from our Crumpton Oaks farm in Malvern. And I beg to differ on that description, actually. Crisp? Definitely not. It's got no crispness at all to it. Refreshing? No. It's left my... It's left my mouth completely bone dry, actually. I'd say steer clear of this one. I'm going to give Crumpton Oak Cider a 2 out of 10. This is pretty terrible. The only reason it gets a 2 out of 10 is... One for the price, and two for the can. But the taste? No. Steer clear of this one, guys. Okay, so now we're getting to the one out of tens. The absolute worst ciders I've tried so far. So, what comes in at number three? Well, it's a cider. It's a mixed fruit cider. And it's one that even my girlfriend didn't like, and that's saying a lot, because most of the ciders I've got her to try, she's really liked, so it must be bad. I am talking about St. Helia Blueberry. Now, I'm sorry, that must uh, ring alarm bells with some people already, but, well, let's just say I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. Let's have a look. Oh. Alright, well, but the first thing you smell is the overpowering scent of artificial blueberry flavouring and sugar. But, oh god, there is an awful... There is an awful farty scent as well, like a... Again, like an eggy farty sort of scent. Oh, good lord. Um, I'm gonna let my uh, girlfriend have a little whiff of that. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'll be lying if I said that I was looking forward to having this cider, but, you know, if there's cider in the name, it's fair game. Mostly, anyway. What do you think? Farts. <laughs> Did you hear that? Farts. Oh, that is absolutely vile. Oh, God. That is terrible. It doesn't even taste the blueberries, it just, um... I don't really know what it tastes like. All I can really taste is um, is sugar. In fact, it it ta the taste that I'm getting at the um, back of my throat is um, whenever you get a, you know I'm sure you guys have eaten like a stick of rock on the beach. You know when you've gone to the beach and you've had a stick of rock. That is the exact taste that I'm getting at the back of the throat. Yeah, completely watery, just awful tastes. And I don't usually swear on these sorts of show on, on uh, any of my reviews, but that is utter shit. Don't buy it. My final verdict for St. Helier Blueberry is very easily a 1 out of 10. Don't buy it, especially for £2.48. I can't believe I wasted that much money on this pile of crap. Um, let's get the uh, verdict from a girlfriend as well. Thumbs up or thumbs down? What do you reckon? There you go. Big old thumbs down from her as well. The number two spot goes to... well... <sighs> I say cider, but I mean it's cider in the most smallest of aspects. I mean, it shouldn't even really be classed as a cider, to be honest. It's another mixed fruit one, and it's... well, there's no disguising it, it's absolutely rubbish. I am talking about Brother's Strawberry. Oh boy, wow, it... it it's not a cider, I'm sorry, but you cannot class Brother Strawberry as a cider, because it's really not. It's more like alcoholic strawberry juice or an alcopop or something like that. But anyway, let's see what my thoughts were on it. Let me go and get this Brother's Top open. Oh god, fizz, 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 fizz. Oh, blimey. <laughs> okay, um, that's a lively one. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go and pour this straight away. 
Wow. Um, yeah, look at that. That's and it's still dripping. Okay, that's gone all over my jeans. Um, yeah, this one's alive, obviously. And well, you all know what the smell's going to be like, but yeah, strawberry. It just smells of strawberry and artificial strawberry at that. Oh. Well, as I expected, it's just sickly sweet. And, oh, that's awful. <laughs> you can't call this a perry or a cider. This is just in no way, no way that you can call this a perry or cider. All you're getting, all you're getting is artificial strawberry flavouring that they've put in. Tons of sugar that they've crammed into. It's gummy. It's sickly sweet. I mean, do I really need to explain any more of this? I mean, you're pretty much getting exactly, you know, exactly what they're aiming to get from this. But for Brothers Strawberry Cider, and this is the first time I've given this, but Brothers Strawberry Cider gets a 1 out of 10. My lowest, lowest rating yet, even beating Crumpton Oaks. Because at least that sort of kind of resembled a cider, but this is not a cider. Seriously, scratch, scratch that word out, scratch the word cider out, because this is not a cider. So, here we are, numero uno, the creme de la crap, the absolute least favourite cider that I have had so far. And to be honest, it really shouldn't come as a shock to any of you what takes the top spot on my least favourite ciders list. And if you don't know, then you obviously haven't seen the review of it. I am, of course, talking about Frosty Jacks. My one and only white cider review that I did for my 100 review special. And my goodness me, was it special, but for all the wrong reasons. I wouldn't even class this as a cider. In fact, I wouldn't even class this as a drink. I really do not see how anyone can have something so absolutely god-awful into their mouths. Regardless whether they want to get drunk or not, you can get drunk on much better tasting stuff than that pile of rubbish, I can tell you that. And I only paid a quid for the can, but it was still a quid that I could have paid elsewhere. So, I guess I could say congratulations to Frosty Jacks for taking the top spot, but... Uh, I wouldn't exactly say it's uh, a good congratulations, is it? So... Yeah, well done Frosty Jacks, you've earned the top spot of the least favourite cider that I have had so far, so let's see what I made of it. Oh Christ. <laughs> oh no, what is that? That smells like dirty washing, d you know, like dirty water or something. Oh Jesus. Uh, pungent, very um... Oh, almost kind of got like a, a cleaning fluid sort of smell to it. Oh, bloody hell. People drink this stuff? Oh, okay. Um, it's sour. It's, um, ex it's extremely tart. But at the same time, it is just overloaded with sugar and sweeteners and I'm actually having a hard time talking here because my mouth has just become instantly gummed up. Oh. Well, um, I think it's safe to say that this tastes absolutely vile. Oh, God. Oh. But yeah, it's, it's got an awful off apple taste all throughout as well. Um, there's absolutely no aftertaste, thank goodness, because I don't think I could have handled that taste very well. But it all just hits you instantly, and it's just absolutely repulsive. In fact, I'm not going to drink any more of that, because it is 
without a doubt, the worst tasting cider that I have ever had. Well, I think it's safe to say that Frosty Jacks very easily gets a 1 out of 10. Do not even consider getting anything like this. And apparently this is one of the better tasting ones. I dread to think what the others taste like because th that's just... That is just absolutely disgusting. So there we go. There are my top 10 least favourite ciders that I have reviewed so far. So basically, in my personal opinion, I think you should just steer clear of these drinks because, well, let's just say there are a lot better tasting ciders out there. Just look at my top 10 favourite ciders and that just gives you a little idea of the comparison between the two. It's quite astounding really how you can have such amazing tasting signs on one hand and then just absolute balls on the other really. So, well, until next time, I will be back with another cider review for you. So stay tuned and I'll see you on review 151. Take care guys, until next time.